morning. Welcome to EMTV. The Christmas holidays are just around the corner. How do internationals spend their holidays? With family on an deserted campus in lockdown? That is today's topic. But first, news. Police really want to intervene in Xior, a student apartment complex on the edge of campus Woudestein. Almost every week, policemen have to end a party over there. This video, for example, is from last Tuesday. He calls this behavior by students irresponsible and unacceptable. Apparently, students are not frightened by fines. Together, the university, the police and the municipality are going to see what they can still do. Students are increasingly positive about online education. Last summer, they gave it a 5.2 on a scale of 10. And in our last survey, the average grade had increased to 6.2. However, a lot of students say they experience technical problems with home exams. They also feel that their student life has been taken away by them because of the corona crisis. Despite the lockdown, exams on campus will continue as planned. All education will take place online now that the Netherlands is in lockdown. But an exception has been made for exams. Who would have thought that we would spend the last weeks of the year in lockdown? Just before the announcement, our reporter went on campus and asked students if they had any special plans for their Christmas break. What are your Christmas plans this year? Uh, ladies first. Uh, I think I'm going to spend Christmas with my family in the Netherlands and then probably go back home to France. Well, I was about to go to Amsterdam with a friend, but um, the regulation of her country changed and uh, if she comes home like at Christmas, she might have to quarantine for two weeks. So I think that's going to be cancelled as well. So uh, now I, I don't know, I don't have any plans at the moment. I will just stay with my family, but I miss them so much, so I'm really excited about that. But I think everyone is just going home, you know, for a little break, seeing people you care about. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm... I'm gonna drink some margaritas on your behalf. <laughs> so, um, I think this year I will uh, stay up with my father and mother, maybe play some games with each other because uh, I think this, this year it is a great opportunity to just have some time with your family. Yes, yes, Christmas will be very different this year. We all keep saying it to each other. It is a strange time. Maybe you celebrate Christmas with just a few people, or maybe you can't go to your family at all. So that's why let's talk about it with first year's international students. Joining digitally are Alexandra Pop and Paul Hartwick. Welcome, guys. Hi. Good morning. Good Hi. morning. Hey, uh, it must be very disappointing for you that you spent your first year in Rotterdam during a pandemic, so you don't have big gatherings, no parties. However, Alexandra, I'm talking to you, uh, you live in your building next to the campus, and there are still a lot of parties going on there. How, recogniz uh, how recognizable uh, is the footage earlier for you of police being in your building? Um, so, actually, I'm at home right now, so I wasn't there when the police came and the video was taken. Um, but as soon as the video spreaded on the group chat and everyone started talking about it, um, I think everyone from Xior, every student realized that they have to take um they have to be more responsible and i think um things will change soon but you understand um, what they are uh, going through right yes yes i understand um i mean usually we try to party less or just be a few people in rooms of course exceptions can happen because you never realize like you're three and then four and then five and so on it's it's a bit difficult to adapt to the new rules and actually realize that well we can't party um 
but I, I really hope things will change as soon as possible. Yeah. Yes. Um, Paul, you're one of the lucky students who could go home for Christmas. Um, you told us other years you went to one of the German islands for a big Christmas gathering with family. Um, how did that normally look like? Was there a lot of food and a lot of decorations? Because Christmas is a real thing, right, in Germany? Yeah, it definitely is. So normally on the first day of Christmas, I would go to a German island because my grandpa lives there. Um, it's northern eye for all the Germans out there. And um, yeah, normally we would go on a brunch um, in our favorite cafe. And um, yeah, then we would uh, go on a walk at the beach. Um, obviously, a beach is, is better uh, when it's warm. But um, I feel like there's also like a certain atmosphere when it's when it's cold. So it's freezing outside and there's the wind. And um, then it's just a typical coming back in into a warm environment and having a tea, having having a coffee or whatever. Um, and then just sit, sitting in front of the Christmas tree, um, maybe maybe playing games. And it's really just about um, being together and actually seeing your grandparents and, and everyone in person, because um, normally um, that's that's not always possible because they live quite far away and everyone is busy with it with their own lives and everyday life so um that's how it usually goes with us yeah that sounds amazing how is it going this year uh yeah i mean <laughs> this year it's 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 definitely different um i don't think that i will be able to see my grandparents um i mean sending christmas cards is also a good way to to let them know that they are still worth uh, the price of a, of a stamp at least um, so yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Um, then we're gonna um, we're, we're gonna be be on the phones, still talk to each other. Maybe send the um, send the um, presents um, with the post, and then it's it's still going to be a good Christmas for everyone. So uh, Paul and uh, Alexandra, you are now in your homeland, but now we also have a student who stays in Rotterdam uh, online. Uh, Her name is Noor. Okay. Noor, are you still here? Yeah, I'm here. It's good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So, Noor, uh, you're not going back to Madrid because you're afraid you cannot go back to Rotterdam. But why mm. are you so afraid? Because I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being stranded <laughs> in Madrid. <laughs> I know, I know, Madrid is beautiful. But um, well, I was lucky enough to come to Rotterdam in the summer and had the chance to see what Erasmus University really looks like. And well. Even people enjoying their lunch in Food Plaza um, and also meeting other students for breakfast and going to um, the pavilion. I'm sorry for my Dutch accent. <laughs> um, or gathering for picnics, I don't know, in Kalingsilbos with people from all degrees. And also something that I really miss and I was really looking forward to was enjoying all our dinners with the team, like from Erasmus Tech Consulting. And, and those are things that really made me feel welcomed when I came here and I can't wait to go back to it, especially because um, we uh, welcomed our consultants in September and we didn't have the chance yet to meet each other in person. And it is really hard to create that community feeling via Zoom calls and we really want them to enjoy their time at AD Consulting and we hope that from January onwards we're going to be able to do that. But will you spend uh, Christmas alone or what's your plan? Um, well, I know that most cities are flying back or have done so already, but that doesn't mean that the full city will leave the country, right? <laughs> so luckily, um, I could meet some Dutch people that will stay here and I'm sure that I will end up meeting someone else during Christmas. So how will my Christmas look like? Well, I don't really plan things in advance, so I'm just going to let life surprise me this time. And <laughs> no, but I will definitely be practicing some sports, read a lot too, um, I need to catch up with some books, <laughs> and also prepare the next project cycle with um, for Erasmus Tech Consulting. Yeah. So <laughs> Alexandra, um, during your time here in Rotterdam, something, well, perhaps quite special happened. Your baby brother was born in Romania. How weird is it, Alexandra, to come back and suddenly have a baby brother in your house? <laughs> Um, it's very weird, very weird, because when I left home, my mother was around three or four months pregnant, and um, I I haven't gotten to see her her glow 
her pregnancy. And then she just called me randomly one night and she was like, yeah, I'm at the hospital right now because something happened and I'm going to give birth. And I was, <laughs> I was speechless. I, I didn't even know what to say. I had like, it took me around three days to realize <laughs> what actually happened. And it was very weird. I only got to meet him on online pictures and videos. Um, I and now you got to hold him. him. Oh, you still can't see him. No, oh. no, not yet. He's, he's still in the hospital. Oh, but he's doing well. Yeah, he's fine. He's he's fine. He's perfect. Um, he'll he'll get out soon. I'm glad to hear that. And um, well, we heard Noor telling us how much he loved Rotterdam. You're also really keen on the city. Um, aren't you uh, afraid that you can't go back? I am a bit afraid that I can go back. I initially didn't plan to come back home just because I was afraid that I may not come back. Um, but then I realized that I can make an effort and spend Christmas with my family. And then... So you had to do, do it. You had, you had to do it. to go back. Yes. Yeah, I had. Um, and you, Paul, you're now in Germany. It's, of course... A pretty close by and uh, not as far as Madrid or Bucharest where Alexandra is at the moment but are you afraid that you can't come back here to the city? Um, I mean right now I'm not really afraid because I think the main restrictions are for the um, people outside of the EU but I mean that's the thing with the pandemic uh, it's a marathon it's not a sprint so um, we don't know how, how far we still are away from the finish line so um, I mean some people might already have like a needle underneath the Christmas tree, so um, we we're gonna see how that it's going, um, how it's going with the with the um, vaccine. So I think for now it should be fine, but with the continuous change of regulations, you just never know. Yeah, and I'm going back to Noor. Uh, Noor, you join student clubs here, and you're having a lot of fun. Do you have uh, any tips for students who feel lonely? What they can do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'm not only having a lot of fun at uh, the students' associations that I joined, uh, but I'm also meeting a lot of students. And I definitely recommend people to join an association, especially during this period, even though it, it doesn't seem that attractive because it, well, it's online. But it really helped me to, um, you know, get into that university environment and meet new people and learn new things. And I know that uh, Save Rotterdam um, for holidays has released this program called Holiday Buddy. And where if you're going to spend the Christmas alone or you would like to meet um, other people, that would be really nice. So I definitely recommend people to join a student association, especially the ones that are coming in January to, to campus. And also check out what Save Rotterdam is doing. Yes. Thank you so much for not only sharing your tips, but also joining us. And also really thank you to Paul and Alexandra. I really wish you the best, all the best for the new year. And before we end our last show this year, these students want to send you their best wishes. Okay. One. What do you two. have to do? Happy Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! No, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Okay, thank you. Happy, Happy Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> uh, well, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas for those celebrating it. Uh, take care and, yeah, <laughs> good luck! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> Wait, Wait are you <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody, Happy New Year, uh, enjoy time with your family and stay safe. Okay. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year! year. <laughs> Two, three. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas! See you next year. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Whether you're going to celebrate Christmas, something different or perhaps nothing at all. Hopefully you will find the time to recover from the past year. And to get a fresh start of 2021, we at EM are going to take it easy for a few weeks. We'll be back in January, but there is still plenty to read and to watch on our website erasmusmagazine.nl. Hope to see you next year. Merry Christmas! Bye.